If you aren't getting the results that you want from Google Ads, it may be because you aren't taking advantage of everything Google has to offer. Google Performance Max is a goal-based advertising campaign that most businesses can create. One of the unique things about Performance Max is that ads can show across all of Google's entire ecosystem on channels like YouTube, Display, Search, Discover, Gmail, and Maps. To appear on these platforms, Google creates advertisements for us based on assets that we upload into Performance Max. If you want great results, you need great assets. In this video, I have one objective for you, to show you how easy it is to create great image assets inside of Performance Max using a tool that is completely free. And if you stick around to the end, I have a freebie for you that will help you as you market your business online. If that sounds interesting, let's discuss. Hey friends, my name is Scott Redgate, and if you're new to this channel, I'm passionate about helping small businesses make more and spend less and show you that you have what it takes to manage your own online marketing campaigns. Today, I'm going to review the specs and best practices for your image assets inside of Performance Max, and I'm going to share a tool with you that is completely free that makes incredible graphics with no design experience. Full disclosure, I am not a designer. I've been advertising on Google Ads since 2010 and have picked up some helpful pointers throughout the years, but if you want simple and practical tips to make your ads more visually appealing and attention grabbing, let's jump into the slides. All right, so to start, we are going to talk about the specs for your image assets inside of Performance Max. So here's what Google's documentation has for the different dimensions and sizes for the marketing image, square marketing image, portrait, logo, landscape, etc. But honestly, when you're inside of Performance Max, this is what it looks like. So images add up to 20 images or logos add up to five logos at this time. So when you click inside of images, you have the ability to upload images from your computer. Um, you may already have some images inside of your Google Ads asset library. You even have the ability to scan your website to look for images um, that you can select for your asset. So when you select your image, you have the ability to crop the image to Google's three current sizes for performance max, which is this one right here. You've got the square image in the middle and then you've got the portrait here on the right. Now for your logos, Google is currently offering two sizes. So you've got the square and then you've got the four by one um, size right down here. So now that we've reviewed the specs for Performance Max, I want to share with you all a document that Google created called the Creative Best Practices Guide. Um, so this is for display ads in general, but the basic premise behind the document is that these are the best practices to get the best results with your Google Ads display advertisements. Um, so if you want to read the whole thing, the link is right here, but here are some of the points that that I took away um, from reading this document. So number one, make your product or service the focus of the image, preserve the original image ensuring it's in focus, and then don't have overlaid logos, overlaid text, overlay buttons or collages. Now, some of these um, like overlay text or overlaid logos, um, I'd recommend you trying out testing it for yourself to see if you truly uh, do not get the best results with them. Because um, I have seen campaigns that have an, a well-placed logo or well-placed text and they do quite well. So take this information, um, digest it, but at the end of the day, test to see what's best for your business. So here are some display ads, best practices, my version just based on my experience with Google Ads. So adhere to Google's ad policies, but test. Um, and then I have the resume rule. So I think it was Indeed did a, did a study that showed that employers on average look at a resume for six seconds. So an applicant within that six seconds really needs to stand out with their resume for them to have a chance at getting an interview and landing the job. So the whole thing by, behind that is if someone was only to see your image ad for a couple of seconds, 
would they know the product or service that you offer and would they have any idea about your brand? So also here's a, a sub bullet here. Could the image be a standalone? And I'm gonna get into how Google um, takes the images and sometimes they um, they show it right next to one of your headlines or your descriptions, but could your image be a standalone? Meaning that someone would know exactly who you are, exactly what you sell, just by looking at the image if they did not see any of the text next to it. Um, some other ones, basic, but have some crisp images. Um, on the previous slide, I said Google says it, avoid text overlays. I'm gonna say avoid small text in the image. And this is because um, you know we all have mobile devices and they aren't as large as desktop computers. And so you have to take that in mind as you're creating these um, assets that sometimes they will shrink and will the user be able to see you know, that image clearly on their device? Next one, have a simple design. And the last one is have unique imagery if possible. I'm gonna share with you a tool that has free stock photography and free stock photography elements, but if possible, if you have unique imagery that looks good for your business, um, I'd recommend using that before any type of stock photography. All right, and finally, here are some specific best practices um, according to Google with Performance Max campaigns. Um, so number one, refresh your creative assets as they're your most powerful tools to drive performance. Add at least seven image assets, and this is because Performance Max is based heavily off of machine learning and AI, so the more assets that you give it, the more combinations that it can have to see what, what can truly drive the best results for your business. Um, the next tip they had was don't delete assets with low ratings. So after you've run a campaign for a little while, you'll essentially get these scores um, next to the assets that say if they're a good performer, if they're a low performer. And what Google's saying here is don't delete one without replacing it with something new. Next, add more assets to your as your marketing message evolves. Um, that goes along with point number one, which was refresh your creative assets. Um, and then last, more assets equals more combinate, more ad combination. So again, at like Google really right here, they're just trying to get at, have a lot of assets for them to choose for the system to be able to do its thing and select the assets that could drive the most um, conversions for you. So now the tool that I wanna share with you, and again, I am not a designer, but I discovered this tool and it has been a game changer for me and that is Canva. Canva is an online design tool and they also have an app um, that's very user friendly. So if you do not have any design experience, you can watch a few tutorials on YouTube and become comfortable with using Canva very quickly. So I'm gonna run through some specific use cases for Performance Max, and if you wanna learn more about Canva, uh, I'm gonna provide a link to their YouTube channel in the description below so that you can watch some of the tutorials that they have. Number one is Performance Max image sizes. All right, so this should look familiar. It's the different sizes and the different types of images that you can upload as assets. So the first thing that we can do as we're in the Canva dashboard is to create a custom size graphic. So I'm gonna take the exact uh, width and the height that we just saw on the Google page, which was 1200 by 628, and I'm gonna select Create New Design. And here you'll notice that the canvas that we have to work with is exactly to those size specifications. So um, here I'll take the other one here, which was the square marketing image, the 1200 by 1200, and I'll simply input the height as 1200, create new design, and again, the canvas that we have to work with is exactly to those specs. So really cool, you can um, see exactly um, what you'll be working with and what you'll be uploading inside of Google Ads. Next, I'm gonna share with you how you can remove the background imagery um, with Canva, and I'm also gonna show a tool if you do not have the pro version of Canva uh, that can do it just as well. So the next thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna attempt to remove the background. So here's a picture of me in the upload section um, wearing a yellow shirt, recording a video, and you'll see this dark gray background behind me. So if you have the pro version of Canva, I believe it costs between 12 and $13 per month, you can instantly remove background images 
Um, but here, I want to show you another way to do that if you do not have the, the free version, and that's by using a website called Remove BG. And so here, I just went into Remove BG, I uploaded my image, and you'll see that it removed the background with Without having to do any design work whatsoever and so once you go into remove BG you can take that image and re-upload it into Canva and let's scroll up here and you'll now notice that that background is completely removed so another benefit to Canva is the free images and free icons and free elements that you have the ability to use um, as you create your assets so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the stock photography options that are free inside of Canva. So in this element section, you can search for whatever you want. So I just typed in plumber um, and then you can see the different images that it has. And if you click that little box right there, you can actually see the different licensing agreement to see if it's an image that you are able to use. Most of them are. You can use them for commercial use so you can use it inside of your advertisements. But as I click around here, you'll see the different options and you'll see some of them are specifically for the pro version, but there's a, a hundreds of thousands that you can use um, with the free version. And so that's what I currently have. So I'm going to type in another search here, bakery, and you can see the different images and you can take it into the canvas and you can resize it and uh, you can edit it however you would like. Another powerful feature of Canva is the ability to do overlays. So the next thing that I'm going to show you to do um, is to do overlays. And so I know that I said that with Google's best practices, they recommended against overlays, but I really feel that you need to test to see what works best for you in your specific business. So inside of Canva, uh, you have the ability to create a background. And then if you click the elements tab, um, you can then select um, an element and then drag it over top of that background or you can actually come in here and you can add in text and add a background to the text um, to overlay the image and you can try out different colors here turned it white now let's turn it black um, and then you even have the ability to resize it or move it around however you would like and this next one's really cool it's called smart mock-ups so when you click the edit image button, one thing you'll see is the smart mock-up option. And so what this allows you to do is very quickly take an image and actually um, place it on different objects like laptops or phones or the dozens and dozens of other options that Canva has. So I just put my uh, picture on a computer and so the next thing that I'll do here is I'll actually put it on a sweatshirt and you see how quick and easy that is to do. And again, I didn't have to do any real design here. I just clicked a couple of buttons and there it is. And this is a big time saver inside of Canva and that's the ability to load brand colors. And last but not least, this is a huge time saver. So when you are inside of Canva, you have the ability to create a brand kit, a full brand kit with the pro version, uh, but you have the ability to create brand colors that stick with you um, throughout your Canva designs. Um, so you have the ability when you're creating um, a graphic that those colors that you select in your brand kit um, will always show up as potential options. You don't have to select them, but they show up there and it saves a lot of time. So here I'll take this element, which is a circle, and I'll just start changing um, the, the color here. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but you see how quick that is to do it. And then if you wanna change something like the background to one of your brand colors, you have that ability as well. I hope those insights were helpful for you and I'm curious. Let me know in the comments below what design tips you've seen success with with your Performance Max assets. And since you've stuck around to the end, I have a free gift that I want to give you. It's my seven day online marketing jumpstart PDF. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash jumpstart. If you're looking for simple tips that can get your business results, this is the document for you and it's completely free. After you complete the steps outlined in this doc, not only will your website have a solid foundation to generate more leads or more revenue, but you'll have a lot more confidence that you can manage your own online marketing campaigns. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time.